We turn now to Gaza, where there's reports that Hamas has agreed to a deal to free dozens of hostages. That's according to the Washington Post, which says that the terrorist group is planning to release at least 50 women and children from the roughly 240 foreign and Israeli hostages being held captive. In exchange, Israel would agree to either a three or five day pause in fighting, as well as increased humanitarian aid to Gaza and the release of some women and children being held in Israeli prisons. The deal is not finalized and Israel is currently considering the proposal. There is no place in Gaza that we will not reach. There is no hiding, no shelter, no refuge for the murderers of Hamas. Hamas had previously stated that it would keep Israeli military hostages estimated in the dozens, possibly for use in separate exchanges for Palestinian militants. President Biden emphasized he wants to maintain peace and stability with China after his meeting with President Xi Jinping. Fox's correspondent Rebecca Castor has more from San Francisco. After four hours of high stakes talks on a number of hot button issues separating the two superpowers, President Biden called the meeting constructive. That's certainly the hope, but there are plenty of doubters. After their talks, President Biden took a short stroll with China's leader Xi Jinping and the heads of the two superpowers certainly projected peace and cooperation. Planet Earth is big enough for the two countries to succeed and one country's success is an opportunity for the other. But behind closed doors, it may not have been all happy talk. At a press conference, President Biden suggested he was firm with Xi. He and I agreed that each one of us could pick up the phone, call directly and would be heard immediately. Looking to avoid any misunderstandings, Biden insisted the two militaries maintain an open dialogue. That's been cut off and it's been very worrisome. That's how accidents happen, misunderstandings. And she was firm on Taiwan, warning the U.S. not to interfere with the island as it angles for independence. The two leaders apparently did find some common ground, agreeing to crack down on fentanyl production and keep a close eye on the threat of AI. But there are plenty of skeptics on Capitol Hill who call the summit nothing more than a photo op and say China can't be trusted. Like every other commitment that the, she, that the CCP has made in modern history, the Chinese Communist Party will violate that commitment. There are no plans for another visit between Biden and Xi at this time, but they're keeping the door open. In San Francisco, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.